hi friends welcome to the channel uh, today we are going to discuss a problem that says uh, find minimum character deletions required to convert given string into palindrome so we have been given a string and uh, we want to make this string a palindrome but we want to do minimum character deletions so uh, so as you can see the string is a b d f b a a so uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so there are seven characters and we want to make this string a palindromic string so the approach that we are going to uh, take uh, uh, is like we have to actually we will start two pointers one one will go from the first letter and one will go from the last letter so i and j so this one will be i and this one will be j pointer and we will keep incrementing i and keep decrementing j and when uh, the j crosses i then we will return so first thing we will do is we will uh, check the character at ith position and at the jth position so if both the characters are same then uh, then we are good we don't have to delete anything because it is already a palindromic uh, sequence it's forming so we will extend uh, the i and we will the i will go to the character b now and we will decrement j and the j will come now to this a character <clears throat> so let me just change the color quickly okay so now we are at the character b and here and we are at the character a so j is at the character a so again we will compare b with a so now there is no match so we know that we have to at least do one character deletion from either b or from either a so we have two choices here so we will what we will do is we will take uh, both the choices and we will return the minimum characters that we will have to delete from uh, these two choices so for example uh, if we first consider if we are like uh, let's say deleting character b let's say right so let's say character b is deleted what we are left with is this actually this substring that we want to actually uh, take for our uh, uh, find the uh, next palindrome so um, here if we want to make this substring again we will have to check you know like again i will start from here d and the j will start from a here so in in this case actually a, a is it, it will start from b because a we have already deleted so we 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 are deleting a so we are left with the three characters d f and b so we have to you know do the minimum number of deletions to make this uh, uh palindromic sequence so we since all these three characters are different we have to do at least two character deletion so we can do either df or fb or db so two characters deletions will come so let's say i'll just write down so if we take this string then then the result is a two characters deletion and plus one character we already have deleting right for a so that is a, like a one plus so one plus So one plus the two character that we are deleting here. So now uh, let's consider the other substring sequence that we can actually consider for deletion. So if we are like uh, uh, considering deleting the character A, this 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 character A, if we are considering deleting, so one for that character. So we are left with this substring, right? b d f b so again if you look at this character last b with this first b so we are good because it's a palindromic sequence right the, this b and this b is again a palindromic sequence so we are again like left with only two characters to uh, uh, for a deletion d or f so we can delete either d or f so 
the string BDFB can become a palindrome. So if we are considering this uh, BDFB as a string, then in, in this choice, we will only get uh, one here, right? So I'll just write down here. So, so either two or one, right? So, so what we will be doing is we will be doing a minimum in this two because we want to find out the minimum character of deletion right so which which we will get like a one character because minimum is one so one plus one is equal to two so is equal to two characters so we have to delete to make this complete string a palindromic substring so for example let me just uh, you know just pick a brush here quickly so uh, so this is the uh, sequence right or let me just write down actually using a normal pen so so it is a b d f b a a f b a and then a so for this we are we have to only delete two characters so as you can see the two characters that we we can delete is uh, uh, we have to delete a d uh, a b d so here, here it is uh, a then if we are considering deleting b then we will get a b f b a so we can considering either deleting d or f so either we will get a b f b a which is a palindrome if we consider deleting f then we will get a b d b a so both are palindromic substrings so i will show you the quickly the code implementation in the eclipse that i have so um, so this is a kind of a recursive method that i implemented so first we will check the base condition i is greater than equal to zero uh, at greater than equal to j then we will be just returning zero because uh, we we don't have to do anything um, in that case otherwise we will keep checking the ith character with the jth character so both ends of the string right and then we will call the minimum deletion uh, the same method we will call but we will go forward so i will go forward and j will go backward here in in case of matching of the characters if the characters at the end if they don't match then we have to add one plus we will take minimum uh, of you know i will either we will go backward from a j side or we will go forward from the i side so minimum of that result we have to add in one one is because we are deleting one character and we are taking the remaining of the string right so that's why so uh, the same string a a b d f b a a i am taking here for the uh, quick test run so if we run this then it gives us a minimum number of deletions is two as i explained in this example so um, i will share this code in the github repository you can uh, look at that code here and uh, uh, i hope this uh, video is helpful to you if you like this video uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button thank you